Good morning and welcome as we are here September 25th. Uh, another beautiful day. It's supposed to be in the 80s. We have our uh, Emanuel Lutheran School color run going on today uh, up at North City Park. And I'm excited about that. I get to open the, uh, the fun run with a prayer and that'll be a joy. And uh, today, our, our reading, we, we finished 1 Timothy uh, yesterday in the Treasury of Daily Prayers, and uh, we're jumping into Matthew chapter 3, um, and in, in particular, uh, John the Baptist and him baptizing people. And uh, we talk so much in, in confirmation, we talk a lot in church about how baptism is such a wonderful gift uh, from God to us where he imparts on us his spirit, he grants us the forgiveness of sins, and it is through his spirit that we have faith to believe. So our writing today uh, is going to come from C.F.W. Walther, and he's going to talk about that faith and what a precious gift it is. So before we go to our reading this morning and our devotion, uh, let's go to the Lord first in prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, well, let's get to our reading this morning. Uh, we're in Matthew chapter 3. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locust and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region about the Jordan were going out to him. And they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father, for I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. Even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with the water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. This is the word of the Lord. And again, you know, that was uh, John the Baptist, the forerunner, he who was preparing the way, um, and what a gracious way he prepared and uh, telling us who was to come, and that being Jesus Christ, and the next part of that reading is where Christ comes down, and John doesn't think that he, he's worthy, uh, let alone to, to hold Christ's sandals, but to baptize him, um, just as, you know, are we worthy? And the answer is no, but by the grace of God, and, and it comes back to his mighty grace, uh, that he does wash us clean at the waters of holy baptism. He does that for us each and every day, and uh, what, a, what a treasure that is, that each morning as we wash our face, we can remember our baptism and be given the faith to trust in these words that God has given us. So Walther says this, A person becomes righteous in the sight of God solely by faith. Faith is demanded of us, not in order that there might be at least some little work that we are to do, as otherwise there would be no difference between those who go to hell and those who go to heaven. No, righteousness is of faith in order that it may be of grace. Both statements are identical. When I say a person becomes righteous in the sight of God by faith, I mean to say he becomes righteous gratuitously 
by grace, by God's making righteousness a gift to him. Nothing is demanded of the person he is told, stretch out your hand and you have it. Just that is what faith is, reaching out the hand. Suppose a person had never heard a word concerning faith and on being told the gospel would rejoice, accept it, put his confidence in it, and draw comfort from it. That person would have the true, genuine faith, although he may not have heard a word concerning faith. And uh, what a beautiful message that he shares with us. And I've always used the analogy that that, that gift is given to us uh, just like a present that's put on a table. It's there. Uh, whether we accept it or not. And, and so it is God working in us. It's the hand of faith that reaches out to receive that precious gift from God. And, and what a glorious gift. And each and every one of us has been given that gift. And uh, it's there. Uh, it just is. And uh, I love that, that God has imparted that to us through his spirit and his one and only son. So let's go to the Lord this morning. We continue to lift up Doug in our prayers. Uh, we continue to lift up others in our hearts and our minds who are hurting at this time. And we also rejoice with all the many blessings and the good news that we've received as of late as well. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, at the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River, you proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Make all who are baptized in his name faithful in their calling as your children and inheritors with him of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, again, have a glorious morning. Enjoy this beautiful Friday. And if you see some kids running around town who have, look like they've been doused in color, it's the, the color run going on today. So go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.